And welcome back. This is Kotal for the second in the UEC for today. It is a Washington Street. Currently, uh, server pop is 183, 92 on the attacking CSA, and 92 on the defending Union. And before I take a look at the unit commanders, I do have a co-commentator in the form of Mr. Chair. Uh, good evening. Okay, so... Um and, uh, I had fun, uh, I had fun on, on, so I with him on the last map. The Hope to uh, uh -huh. see him good uh, on this one. And by the way, guys, let me know what you think of him. You know, I should keep him around, so fire him, uh, have him take over the channel. Maybe, you know, all those fun options. I am prepared to take any of those courses of action. <laughs> all right, start. So there's no... Well, there is already on this map, actually speaking of. There is CSA already, so I'll start with those guys. It looks like they have... Adjutant Forbin here from the LFL with two guns from Battery French. And then we have on their team, they have CQB, 2 Corps, 1st VA, 5th Ohio, and LFL. Commanding, we've got Sergeant Connor for 1st VA, Lieutenant Dreet for 5th Ohio, Don Z for CQB, and Ark for LFL. And moving on for the Union team, no Artie, but they do have the 6th Texas, the GC, both the 22nd VA and the 20th New York. The 4th New Jersey, the 4th Georgia, the 83rd FBI, and the 2nd USC. And they've got Caddy in command of the 83rd. see that. Okay. Uji Film in charge of Fort Georgia. On the Zipper in charge of Fort Jersey. You're defeating Napoleon. Russo under 6 Texas. Colonel Vibar under the 20th New York. Okay, and everyone. And Eddie leading the 2 bad. USC. Oh. So we were talking a little bit before we went live. Uh, what do you What do you think of this map here, Mr. Chair? What do you, you know, enjoy, not enjoy? What, what What's your overall I mean, impression? I do, I do enjoy this as a, as a Union defender because you do get... It, it certainly feels a lot bigger than, down, uh, as we said, uh, downtown in Shenandoah. Uh, but you're still very much here in an urban setting. You've got tree, you've got it's fences and buildings rather than trees and rocks, as, as sort of your your main points. It's you, you get your your fair few close action knife fights, but there is just enough space to get into those gun battles that can really be decisive. You know, it's it's ambushes, it's concealment as much as it is your own fighting prowess very much it's you're going to have to work your way around the flanks of, the, of some of these guys because some of these fences are tough tough to take on especially when you're in you know wide open streets oh you're yeah, absolutely and it's um and there's also the uh, rule so no going into houses so there's none of that in the uec so it makes it much more of a street battle than uh, sometimes you will see in other settings um, for you guys that might not be aware, this game is called War of Rights. It is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. Um, for you guys that might not be aware, the event is the United European Community. It plays every Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT. Bank. It is open to new units. And if you're looking for a unit, um, I've left links to all these units in the Discord, as well as the chair's unit. If you like hearing this guy talk, uh, check out uh, his unit, the uh, the 3rd Ohio Independent Cavalry? Is third, that third Company Independent Cavalry, yes. Third Company Independent Cavalry, there we go. I'm going to get it at some point. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, there are many long ways. But we're, we're starting to see some action now. A widespread Confederate uh, attacks here. Yeah, both, both have uh, gone into multiple angles. I'm very worried about uh, this GC angle here. If you see First VA, if they move up a little bit... Connor is they, uh, enemy they west might catch him in the back. Uh, they haven't ready. moved out yet. So the challenge, I think, with this man is going to be deciding what to cover. Uh, certainly, GC. Yeah, well, GC have already got themselves in a position where they've, they've got their backs to Confederate sports. Fuego, fuego, fuego. And, uh, and to the LFL. The LFL seems to be moving sort of more to the center of Move around the edge rather than to the center. Wow, I have just watched the GC melt the first VA. Holy shit, I don't know if you saw this uh, engagement. I, I, just, I just saw the tail end of that, and I can see, I can see them now. That's, GC can just lock down a street. Yep, no, it's, no it's, it's, it's tough to fight them, you know, head on. It's 
All right, so looking at the other side of the map here, we've got 83rd engaging uh, with some help here from Fort George. They were partners last time. At the top end of the map here against the CQB. And my right ear no longer works. Uh, I think that seemed to be down. sort of trapped between two Confederate no, units here. The the Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, CQB. Oh yeah, LFL is now moving yeah. up here on him. Oh, yeah, Ark is, uh, is gonna squeeze him, I think, here, unless they move out to the right here very soon. In fact, Edler got cut off. And so did Gomer. Yeah, and, well, there they go. Uh, that's, that's you're not supposed there. to do that, gentlemen. That is considered rambling in the UEC. Don't, don't do that. Yep, and yeah, 83rd have just got to run like hell away from that situation. Yeah, looks like they got out of there, but uh, so I guess we'll rotate up to another sector here. Looks like we've got 4th New Jersey and 2 USC teamed up here, and they're fighting against the 5th Ohio here on the other side of the map to the east. Perhaps this is a position uh, I don't normally see Confederates going for, I must admit. Yeah, I don't usually see them going over here. On this flank. I don't hate it though, it's, it's you know, decent shade, you can shoot back out to uh, either side of this house. Um, I kind of like this position. Yeah, it, it does force a Union regiment to wait the point. They, they've got to pull back and round just to, just to see these guys and what they're doing, keep tabs on them. In fact, that's what we see, yeah, you see Eddie repositioning his boys now, away from the point. An interesting thing I want to point out here is that the sick Texas have, have sort of gone straight down the middle without much resistance. And they're now in the tents. Gonna, uh, I assume they are, they might get behind the uh, the CSA element over here. We've yeah. seen Rousseau. I think he he is a you know he is a uh, a fan of these bold maneuvers. Certainly. Oh, but the LFL are coming up on him. LFL didn't know they were coming. Well, I gotta go. They they certainly just sort of oh. filed round. I think they get, LFL got the better of that engagement, but that was a I think yeah. a luck more than a skill thing, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For Russo, I think that was a great idea by him, but just uh, you know, arc yeah, turned the at LFL the wrong time. Just, yeah, they just moved out and happened to run into each other. I mean, very much, it's a it's a Confederate. Uh, attack, so, you know, anything that will delay them. Well, yeah, I mean, even though we've seen a couple wins here for the Union already, we look at the tickets, it's still even at the moment at 34 minutes, uh, 50 seconds. So right now for the uh, Union, um, just as an overall strategy, what would you like to see or how would you approach this as, you know, both as an individual unit and, and you know, kind of as a bigger picture? I mean, I, I must admit, I haven't played Washington in a while, but... I, I do sort of like this union approach of being very wide. I I, I, I am worried about the center. I do think there is there is very much an opportunity for Confederates to take uh, sort of the uh, these sort of junction junction area off of the uh, what is this uh, the southwest corner of sort of the central square the central block. That southwest corner can be can be quite nice to hold. There's an opportunity to uh, to go for that, which I think LFL are doing. It yeah, looks like there's somebody of... behind them. It looks like the 83rd is going to try to charge out from behind them. I don't know if they have enough mass, though. No. And CQB have, have really just stripped away the 4th Georgia. I think I think they were just a bit too spread out on this right flank. And they should have been a little a little bit tighter in. And in fact, in fact, the 83rd is... Yeah, the 83rd 4th Georgia basically impaled themselves on LFL. And now they're getting charged out by them. And CQB are just sat there ready to help. But yeah, no, 83rd is just they're shattered. They're, they're going every which way now. I will say yeah, the right 5th flank, Ohio has better. by itself pulled off. And now I'm looking at the other side of the map here. Two units, 4th New Jersey and 2 USC, but yeah. you know, they're not really doing too much. They've created a nice imbalance where I think some of these other CSA units... I think you're right. I think it's... the southwest corner is, is the problem because you got GCE in the center and they are... Mm. You do not want to fight them head to head, but... The imbalance is up on this side here, and I think they might be able to cut off the uh, lock, the LOC between them. I think, I think actually, what's going on here is whichever Confederate unit is, is in the far back, LFL. I think LFL has been too distracted by uh, getting 83rd stragglers that they're they're actually well out of the fight when they can be, you know, reinforcing CQB's position. 
I think the you know the, this, this rally back here is probably a bit of a mistake. Yeah, I really saw the guys. <laughs> well, I guess they just don't yeah. know who's yeah. down here in this corner. So Yonzi is. I think you're right. Yonzi's moving out, but we already see the union's got a new other unit reconstituted over here in the form of Six Texas. Uh, I think yeah, the Confederates now sort of uh, spread themselves out a bit. Going into the center, though, looks like we got to move by hey. first VA. Oh, Jesus. I don't know but if you caught that. Hit. I I heard it, that's for certain. They just got caught by GC. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't think you can fight this unit head on, guys. You, you got to find an angle. <laughs> you got to find an angle, which admittedly was open for a, for a short what Actually, I think CQB might be heading for it. Well, no, it looks that, like they're heading around. Deep. I, they're heading deep in, which might be a little bit too deep, but we'll see. They might be able to catch fourth New Jersey um, and two USC out here. I suppose the question the question really is, what will uh, GC do about it? Oh, it looks like GC is reacting. They have been the anchor of this Union team. Oh, here comes Sergeant Caddy. I think he's separated from his unit. Caddy's just met CQB. I think he was trying to find his unit and he got separated from Oh, they killed Dog killed Caddy. Oh. But CQB have just hit. Get that flag up. Oh, they got GC. hit though. Get yep, yep. And GC, you saw that damage that the GC Thank was you. able to yep. do to him. Thank you, mighty. Uh, that's that saved uh, Fourth New Jersey's ass because sec Second US have actually chased off GC. Uh, fifth, uh, fifth Ohio, sorry. Yeah, Union's a little bit behind on tickets. Looks like we got another play in the center. Oh, here comes GC. Yeah. Weber is going to come up here. And get CQB, but he's being followed by two core. Go, go, go. And LFL now moving on the center and they've hit 83rd and 4th and the 6th, in fact. And I think right now this is the CSA's game oh at the moment, God. even though it's about even on tickets. I, I like the amount of maneuverings they've been able to do. They've really opened up. The, if we talk about the space. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's really now. I get. I, I think you called it earlier. The southwest corner here is going to be very tough for the Union to retake. Mm. Although Fifth Ohio has finally been charged out. I didn't see that charge here, but it's two USC Eddie and his guys have knocked out the Fifth Ohio, so yeah. that has secured that flank, and that might free up some additional units for the Union. It's true, but the G but the GC have been forced out of that that crossroads. I think GC in that crossroads is a very very potent force because they can. They can just turn and hit any target that's coming for them. Yeah, and but now that they're out of there, no, I think I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. Yeah, ultimately, though, you know, CQB were wiped out. They have, they have really opened up the space. The was closing in a bit. And actually, yeah, we can kind of see this playing out right now. LFL versus GC. Without them being able to get into that big line quick and get that punch off quick, LFL is still taking a lot of hits, but they're able to at least stand up a lot more than some of the other union, CSA units were able to previously. And, and the center's reasonably open for first VA and second there. I mean, second US right. can try, right. but right. they just don't have right. Fire. Jeff Wright, get your reload now there. we do have Fuji film here from the Fort Georgia Jeff trying to Wright, retake the uh, far right side for the unit. The, uh, uh, what do you think about this play? Uh, Pendragon, Kibbs, about I coming up to the uh, top of this map, trying to reestablish this flank over here, um, as close to the center. Good, because you can, you can. I mean, admittedly, you see all the way to Confederate spawn, but it still it locks it down. It locks down this this second street if you hold this corner. I think. Because you can you can peek out, you can shoot straight down it, and that that limits a lot of Confederate maneuverability. Because you see wherever they go, even if you don't shoot with them as they come out of spawn, you you see which way they've gone, where they're taking the the forces, and you can react. Very much LFL are now stuck right behind the second uh, second road. Yeah, even though they can uh, take them out, it's you know you're still going to get delayed, and you're going to lose some forces doing so. It, it's, you know, it, it's it's far off a point, so it draws any Confederates that need, want to take you out away, yeah. well away from point. Yeah. And you can still uh, effectively okay. cover it if you need to. Yeah, and I think, unfortunately, now for the CSA, you've seen GC. Where are they going back to? Yep, GC. GC have been able to reform. And there's there's no one to there's no one to meet them as they form. So they'll, they'll just get that big line up, and uh, they can wait. Eight there on the right, eight there on the right. 
I don't know where it right is. Halt hin, halt hin, Jungs, halt hin. It's, it's, it's very much back in the Union's favor. Now looking back at the uh, far the east side here, we got Eddie here fighting them. back again. This time and against... Now they're going right. <laughs> they're going right. Two core. No, first VA, I'm sorry. I do like this house. Um, I think we talked about this a little bit earlier, the way that CSA yeah. is using this this house to kind of, you know, jink the, uh, the Union. Yeah. They're certainly, the Union's certainly far more spread out than, you know, I normally see. Oh, Eddie has to get out of there. As you can see, CQB is about yep. to come up on him. Good job by Eddie getting his men out of there before he got hit. But it's, it's, it's just given, it's given the a bit more breathing space on the left. Which means the GC have have had to pull out of that. They haven't pulled out yet, but okay, they're now not looking at Trevor's form. All right, back to the fence, back to the fence. No, they're not, but they did get a nice volley in as a, a nice bit of CSA was crossing this fence here, so. It does, uh, I think they need at least one other unit to support him here in the center. Very much, they need someone. Yeah, he does have fourth New Jersey on his left here, but, but yeah. Nate 83rd have pushed up, pushed up hard towards Confederate spawn. I kind of like this position for the 83rd. What do you, what do you think are. about this this corner they've taken here? I think this this corner as well. It's it's very much like the one further back down, but I suppose just closer. Yeah, right, right there. You get you get very much the same opportunities because you see the Confederates wherever they go out of their spawn. Yeah, we've seen six Texas now has joined the 83rd up in this position, and they've kind of delayed the CSA from moving out a bit. Certainly, this one's this one's hard to hold, and also you're sort of you're very much where the Confederates want to be anyway. Sort of, it's, it's that that junction uh, is really just where the Confederates choose where they choose to go later on, uh, or whichever attack angle they're going from. And Looks like Eddie's going to try to shoot through the fence right now. Let's see if he can do it. Take aim. Fire! Oh, they shot a little bit too low. They shot the first yeah, fence, not the second one. Yeah. That's unfortunate. But anyway, um, so now we're at 25:30. Both teams are at battle ready. Uh, who do you think this favors right now? Which team, the uh, CSA or the Union? Uh, I think it's fairly even at the moment. Yeah, there's already one left. I know. I'm watching them. Who's this? Well, out to the south is. LFL. Um, I think it's it's currently a un it's, it's a union control. I think at the moment because GC are at the, the crossroads. <laughs> GC hold the crossroads, so they uh, they've got that. They've just they've just got point. Although this is a very bold maneuver from first and CQB, they're really wrapping around. I, I, I kind of I kind of like this to unhinge oh, the yes. uh, if they can unhinge this defense because there's nothing Who's behind it. It's very much, very much. It's it's threatening the CQ the, the, the GC's backs and it's it's really forcing the union. They have to react to this. They can't just let it be because it's yeah. In fact, we'll see, yeah, we see Eddie pulling off now, just like you said, and reacting to it along with the fourth New Jersey. So that move by CQB has opened up possibly a flank maneuver here, especially since they got support behind them by the first VA. Yeah. Suddenly, G GC are in a first VA boys, I need position, you to start shooting west. But there isn't a Confederate unit to exploit that at the moment. So G GC can. Well, they don't know that they can rest easy because LFL's uh, sort of uh, much further out. Um, but I would, if I was, if I was V, but I would be worried about who's holding my flanks right now. It looks like the 83rd has moved up to kind of secure that mm. position. I think I think the momentum has gone a bit from this this northern flank. Pull it back. No, I think I think Eddie has in fourth New Jersey moving up, and then 83rd finally, you know, as the additional, has kind of stymied any chance yeah. to exploit yeah. that. Then CQB's got to get out of there. And then we got LFL charging into six Texas yep. here. Maybe this will be where it cracks. Uh, I think I think this is going to be a fairly decent sized crack. Because I don't think six can just hold the weight of numbers LFL threw at them. There. Very much so. They've they've uh, they've won that, which now means that whilst oh who's this? You still have Fort Georgia ahead. We'll see mm. if uh, Fujifilm here can uh, restrain the LFL. But if they let LFL back into the rear area, they can might be able to unhinge the uh, GC. 
very oh, much so. Hello. I think now now's the time that the fifth the fifth have to sort of come up a bit and harass GC, keep them where they are. Whilst LFL works works the flank. But L LFL are, are drawing back. Yeah, yeah, I think they they, they might not realize that they had that opportunity. And again, it's it's uh, just something to keep in mind for the uh, the folks well, watching. I, I think actually we... here because we look here, Fourth Georgia, it's it's very much. I think the Fourth Georgia just it's made them think. Oh hey, no, pull, the, the pull back, still hold pull back to the fence once you're reloaded. Yeah, I, I do Sorry. like the positioning of Fourth Georgia. I think it's not a fun job watching a flank like that, but I think it's pretty no. crucial. It's very crucial because it's meant that LFL have decided not to commit to this very open center now. I suppose because they just don't know who's in it, and if if fourth can sit there and keep the pressure up. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I, as I was going to start to say is, you know, we I, I can zoom out and we can zoom out and see everything. You know, when you're on the ground, it's a much different picture. You only really see what's in front of you. Yeah, certainly Washington Street. You very much know about the, you know, the house and the house next, the house beyond it. That's that's how close the fighting is. And very much when you're when you're in when when you're firing, it's. That's all you can yeah, think about, away, is the Confederate 20 yards behind the fence. <laughs> Another big volley from the GC. <laughs> and the Union is ahead on tickets by quite a bit. There has been no answer to this GC volley from what I've seen here. No, very much, you just got to, you've got to work your way around it. I should say the 20th and uh, the volley. And, uh, Yes. So yes, of course, because we do have uh, fifth. And we got fifth and twenty-two VA as well. So it's yeah. it's. I should be more specific in that. Oh yes, very much. It does seem a very twentieth. Yeah. Oh no, there are a few twenty-second. I think we have an imposter in the group. Yes. What? Very much. It's yeah, I think twenty-two VA uh, filled in with him, and I think fifth Ohio yeah. is on the other team right now. So that's the. Yes. So. Oh, well, we got very much. So what we mean by so fifth is uh, whoever's uh, currently with uh, Viva. Uh, although it looks like Fort Georgia, though, has been hit by two units. Speaking of the 5th Ohio, they've kind oh, of dragged yes. them oh, out. That's... <laughs> now, now's the chance. Elif... Uh, wow, they've they've sort of gone in the 5th's uh, in the center. LFL's on the flank, 4th J. <laughs> they've run away from one fight. Yeah, well, Fort Georgia's trying to charge out the 5th Ohio. This might save the flank here. If LFL moves quickly, they can secure it. That's going to be uh, yeah, up to I the LFL. LFL's got it. No! Ah! Whilst whilst fifth whilst fifth are going, LFL got to commit it. Okay. Uh, I think. Uh, well, he's going yeah. in. Let's see if he can yeah. do it. Uh. Yeah. Well, fourth, 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 fourth. Fuji said, "Just get out of there," which I think is a sensible move. There's only the two of them. Yeah. No. I mean, he's right. But now the op now it's open. The flank is well, open. Now, now's LFL's chance just to get close and really threaten uh, Viva, Viva's position. Oh, but 6 Texas is down the road, as is 83rd. They might be able to stop him. LFL going for a right turn, though. I think that was yeah. smart, getting out of the road. Mm. Uh, GC, uh, Viva moving up. Round into the First Virginia. No, not the First Virginia. Going back further to hit CTB. Or not? No. Multiple units, looks like. He's in a bit of a vice right now. Yeah. I think Bieber made a mistake here. I think he overextended himself. He got a little bit he too, uh, to a little too uh, secure in himself, I think, unfortunately. Very much, yes. LFL have actually come away from the center to support this. I mean, if the goal is to kill GC, you know. It's, it, I think it's working. Yep. And Bieber is pulling back. I, th I think in just enough time, if he had stayed there another 10, 15 seconds, he might have lost his whole unit. But uh, good, good. Uh, I think I think he overextended they, they a bit. He did, but I don't think they're quite no, exploiting it. Confederates exploiting this quite enough. That was their chance to really just follow, follow. Um, no, and I think I think they might get hit by the 83rd and the six Texas yeah. now coming up on uh, behind the CSA. Yeah, CQB have sort of pulled back into this uh, deep divot when you know they were really winning that fight. That's uh. Well, I mean, you know, it's you hear Bieber, you know, and it's like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna go against his guns. <laughs> mm. Yeah, very much so. Well, because you know, well, to your point though, because he's pulled back, you know, I, I think 83rd and 6 Texas might be able to really hurt 
This two core and first VA element. They're very much just keeping them busy there, and it's, go, 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 it's going to whittle away some of their, their manpower, their tickets. It's it's delaying any movement, movement they make. Oh, is that Bieber coming up again? Charles Rose. Charles, 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 Charles It is very much so. Right into the first Virginia as they were drawing. That worked out beautifully for them. Elfell trying to get behind a nice counter charge against the 83rd in 6 Texas, but uh, CQB, are, CQB have just moved out around the back, so they, they just can't help. I don't think. Although GC aren't committing much to the LFL now, they've they've let them get back into a. Meanwhile, Harson trying to get on the other side, but he's still facing Eddie and the uh, the home guard over here. Auf geht's, Kasper, aufholen. Yeah, very much so. He's he's just had to run across. But it's it's enough to get it's it's, it's scared Eddie enough that he's out of there. Yeah, but I, I really like the way Eddie has been playing because he, he does not stick in positions. So he'll he'll pull back. Certainly, you know he won't get I mean, charged I think out. This is a good. <laughs> and then that gives just enough time for reinforcements to come up. Oh, and and what reinforcements they are? It, it's Viva. It's Viva's lot. Like treatment. Oh. Yep. He was and there goes, and oh, they, no. they, they've, they've seen Viva coming down the road and they've decided we do not want that fight. Yep, nope, nope, it's time to run away. <laughs> the old dad's army wins again. Looking right right across from the southwest, it's... it's so uh, now, yeah, we got Fort Georgia here fighting against, who is this? The CQB. CQB. I think the CQB can charge this out. There's practically nothing yeah, left of it. So. It's two. It's two men now. Yeah, I think people have to. Re time is a huge factor here. So you know, it's mm -hmm. nice to shoot out one, two guys, but you know, how much time are you wasting doing it? Now, they've killed the last guy, but how much longer are they going to keep shooting? Yeah, because now, while that was all going on, Caddy has had time to move up the 83rd. So. Yep. That's yep. And now they're in. They're, now they're in that corner. And somebody else is so, coming up too. And now Six Texas is coming up. Defense. Now Fort Georgia is back in the fight because they came in from spawn. Yeah, because that's that's one thing you've got to remember, especially on this flank. You are not far from Union move, spawn. Let's move, let's move. So Come they, on. if you do not oh, take on, the position, you just knock them off. They will be back on it in an instant. Yep, Yonzi getting his men out of there. I think that's a wise decision. But uh, yeah, that opportunity's gone. Union well ahead on tickets. GC back on that crossroads they are getting flanked slightly by LFL there no that's good positioning I think by LFL so they've, they've really got no one else to help them exploit it so they've, they've, they've had to get out so now, now 6 Texas are there with them as well Viva the veterans keep poking, but they just can't find those. They, they sort of they find no, they, the holes. They drive the wedge in, but it, it slips back out again. Yeah, they can't. They can't explore. They can't get it all the way through, unfortunately. Beaver mm. yeah. comes up again. You know, like CQB was able to charge up the 83rd, but now here comes They're pulling Fort back Georgia. to the tents. They're pulling back to the tents. Hello, hello boy! Don't, Is this the wall? Back fight, to the they don't have enough to hold the ground. Hey, do not pursue! Do not... Oh, well, he certainly was to have said how important this corner is. To a certain extent, the Confederates can ignore yeah, it. They can take the losses from the flanking fire, ignore it as they move. It, 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 you know, it's not the, right, not the play you want to make, but sometimes it's, it's the one you have to make, and I think... The Confederates have to give up with this flank to a certain extent. I, I mean, the Union has basically trapped yeah, the CSA the almost in their spawn hold, at this point. Hold fire, hold fire, though, hold fire. Very much yep. so. Beavers. Although, the sort of, they seem to be going around. Be going Beavers going, going round and LFL's going around the other way, and they've sort of missed each other. <laughs> Did they, uh, they, maybe they got a little bit again. Uh, if the CSA could drive a seam through, I would say just go for point now. Yeah. 
Ah, but now LFL catches GC as they go round, and this. Now first VA, if they if they swing in. Ils ont du bucket and ball, les gars. Shit, moi je me casse. On se replie ou pas? Ils ont du bucket and ball, les gars. Ils ont du bucket and ball, les gars. Non, c'est un bon bloc ici, par Victor, qui a tenu le premier VA. Nice move by the first VA, qui a tenu le premier VA. Je veux dire, il ne peut pas le tenir, mais il a tenu le temps juste assez ici, et LFL a tenu le temps, et GC peut maintenant se tourner dans le fight si il doit. Much they, the GC don't have to turn into the fight much. They can they can just keep pounding LFL for a bit. On the rocks, but independent I think, fight. I think Viva really should be thinking about coming back a bit to the crossroads. He doesn't need to be the slot be... forward. What? No, I think he's I think he's getting a little bit too uh, strung out. I agree. Oh shoot! CQB just gave their side to uh, the two USC here though. On the far side of this map. Oh my God. CQB interline on my right, yeah, quick, form on my right, form on my right, break the loads, break the loads. Line on his right. Line on his right. He's seen them now, but... Fire and will. Fire will. I mean, the second US can just do some classics, uh, yeah, cavalry stuff, some skirmishing, just... Right in front of us, due north. Keep them busy. Keep firing! Volley of a fire, lads! Okay. It's hard to see them. Jam and Doug, run to the other. Uh, I don't think, nope. yeah, I think really GC doesn't necessarily have to be on that corner to Confederate spawn yeah, I mean, to keep I mean, them bottled though, they can let yeah. other units I mean, do that and I mean, act as just that, that right, plug right, right, at right, the right, back right. that once the other lines sort of crack, <laughs> they can come back and just meet um, be that's held that's with this, uh, this just Fire. big blocking force, which I think is what they're doing now, and it should, I think it's going to work quite well for them. Is it very much yeah, I believe you're right, yeah. The, uh, rear. They can't, 4th New Jersey can't be outflanked at the moment. Yeah, GC sits there. It's a bit of an imbalance, unfortunately, but not too bad. It's a man right now. Hey, we're fucking... They're waiting for you. They're literally waiting for you in the roads. A big better push. Yeah, but oh man, they caught these guys right charging out. Six Texas and GC. Yeah, that's Although, actually, that smaller initial charge did blow the loads. I think you're right. I think that might have actually been enough. I, th I think they decided to mass up a charge, which against the strongest point, which is what they did. And they have all four flags up. This means they're yep, going to get. Um, yep. Got four flags at 6, 12, 48 men per minute. Yep. I mean, they've got they've got to get on point and lock in a good defensive position now. No, and that's looks like looks like the officers are trying to do it. Yeah. But 83rd are just waiting for them. I get that, the that's, that's some downed officers. Alright, they got. They have two more officers. Bring reloads, bring reloads, bring reloads. About face. Uh, the Union really needs to stop this. The CSA is going. Wow, they're really. That, I think they're on the fence to line. On the fence the line. Reinforcements. On the fence, independent fire. What are doing here? This is. On the fence, independent you know, fire! You, you, you do have to extend a bit from point to get a good defense position, but this much? No, and I think they're exposing themselves to where all these reinforcements are going to come from Maine. I mean, GC, look at GC at Maine. As soon as they move out, they're going to hit this in its yeah. side. Now, now they're starting to pull back a little bit. Okay, now they're starting to reconsolidate. I think they just got a little bit too excited with that charge. They, they might not, they they might not pay for it, but that was that was dangerous. Well, they have left two uh, Yankee regiments in their rear, both New Jersey and the second U.S. Well, I don't think the second U.S. really knows what's going on right now. No, but here comes Victor, though. He does. Hello. Yeah, I really don't think Eddie's quite realized. I think Eddie's now realizing what's happened. There was a Rambo behind us. It's only 5th Ohio holding off 4th New Jersey right now.
They hey, really Ren. benefit from like, a lot of units Ren. to sort of I see one. come around. Oh, oh here comes um, here comes the GC, the Viva. They got to the counterattack. Unfortunately, it was just uh, off the uh, taken losses, so they, you know, it's a little bit shorter on the time. I mean, I was seeing Viva leading that charge. I'm surprised he's still alive. That's oh no, he's just been shot. I mean, that's it's 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 you know you always want to be in front of and inspire your men, but sometimes when you're going into attacks like that, you want to be you know two or three men behind. <laughs> save your save your revolver. Oh, I used to think that. I think with the new change with the five second, you can afford it a lot more. Because oh, right. you 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 know you're in the front, but you know then you'll be in the back. You know you'll be the first man dead. That means you'll be back. You know in the middle towards the back of the charge while well, it's still going on. All right. Boys. Is that dead? No, no. I suppose I'm, I'm still stuck on the fire, fire. Well, well, I mean, we'll see if this change even stays around. Like they, they, they did with the five second Smithy. respawn timer now. But... Get him, Smith! Get him, Smith! Kill him! That's a friendly! Shoot the flag! Shoot the flag! Shoot the flag! Shoot the flag! Yeah, yeah, six Texas coming in, but yeah, they have to destroy this very quickly. They cannot allow these flags to stay up here. Because that'll just spawn officers and it'll just never really die. And the Union is not really charging them out. That is very dangerous. They, they need to kill it. Oh, well. Oh, I think, uh, second course, yeah. southwest. Second course, yeah. southwest. Southwest. Yep, thanks. Connor down the south house there, southwest. And they have a flag down. The CSA has picked up the flag. They have two flags down. Hang on. I don't think they quite know where the Confederates are. Get these flags up. You see, see what they're, where they're maneuvering. Like they had a oh, they, they, they don't. Flank yeah, round, I, I don't think they realized they were there. Yeah. Point blank. They were around this corner. Right they do, yeah, GC returning to their original positions. There, there yeah, are still CSA around. flags down. Yeah. CSA, you need to pick up your flags. This, I don't care yeah. if it's not your flag. Hey, can pick someone can pick this flag? Yeah. They, they are, they are losing men. They don't need to lose. They can get men in right now, but they have not yeah. picked up these flags. But they've still got a fairly small flag yeah, there, but I don't even quite know exists. Very much, because 4th Georgia are, you know, just on the other side of that building. How was that going How was that going out called out for Rainbow? Hitten! Hitten! Umdrehen! Jobs! What is it? Do we have loads? Do we have loads? Westman! I'm here for Zilly Warlow! Four ranks, take aim at the enemy line! Fire. Yeah. Independent fire. Keep this line. Keep the line. Independent fire. Yeah, Very much. Viva's sort of ignoring that position. Uh, you see how many men are in that position now, though, versus what it was, you know, a minute ago. Yeah. What? I know. Very much. Okay. Now. 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 Uh, Viva's. Viva's noticed that there are a lot behind him. But yeah, that charge kind of came in, kind of scatter shot. I mean, really, they they did just walk past those Confederates. Two big, big clumps just went straight past them. Now, uh, which way are they looking? We're sort of looking. They're, no, they're, they're ready for LFL to cross in front of them. This is going to be nasty. Wow. And it was. Oh, oh yes, it was. We shall march. Picket fence, and I went. Yeah, my hit. So they're, they're stopping this. Uh, get, getting reinforced by a unit-sized force. But they're still there. I don't know what it's bringing, but we're holding it. Still in here. One more. Enemy southeast. Enemy southeast. No, no, Cyril, southeast. And there's still CSA flags on the dirt here. I, I am very upset with you guys in the CSA right now, not picking up your flags. If you pick them up, friendlies will spawn. Very much on a map like this, you want them. Well, it's very quick to get guys back into the fight having this position behind no that, that's the key yeah i got it you know big spawn yeah, is yeah. you know okay it's quicker but you know yeah look at where they are it's it's a great position to ambush out it's perfect 
basically got GC and a vice here if you can, you know, pull off an attack on both sides. Yeah, and now, now the CQB and, has yeah, sort Look of how close the Union is to breaking now. The CSA could definitely win this game if they timed the charge right. So we're just looking which way... Oh, they're very much sort of looking back towards where the barracks are, but not where their the reinforcements are coming from. Uh, Although 4th and Jersey are now covering their covering their flank their back. Right in the pillar of fire. If you see anything, shoot it. Come on, on let's move! Regroup with Yanzi, regroup with Yanzi! The LFL have sort of slowly working their way around the flank, just moving in to reinforce that unit, because there's not... There is some unit, there is a 6 Texas to face them, but I think they can make that, make it to the big block. Then... A la casa donde tendríamos que ir. Alto, 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 alto. Yeah, I'm not sure if they'll make it down in time. Because the big, the big block is moving. Uh, right into GC's guns. Well, it looks like a good number are trying to get into the White House over there, and I think that's the right play. Uh, but the key is they need to charge yeah, out yeah, too, because you don't want to go to taking losses and and cap. You don't want to. You've got about one opportunity for this cap, and you've got to get it the timing exactly right. And uh, by the looks of it, LFL was distracted enough by six sectors. They're probably not going to join into this this fight. CQB going in. CQB going in, followed hotly by Fourth New Jersey. Yeah. I think it was, uh, I think Elfell was pulled off by Six Texas just enough to yep. keep that fight a little bit disjointed. Just a bit longer. So it looks like we've got uh, Second US now sort of coming in to help that. It's, it's a close range gun battle. Yeah, you see that's breaking, but now it's they're not, not enough on to take point though. I think actually if LFL committed a bit harder, although now now they've, they've, hit, they've hit a gun line. Very much, I think. Uh, CSA have got to throw everything they've got a point now. I mean, they're not going to have choice. They're going to be on final push in the next, you know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. What's this LFL unit just sat here at the back? They've got to, they've got to, they've got to go up. They've got to go help their, their, uh, their friends. Versus Virginia, just uh, Ohio. You red stink. Yeah, uh, good job by the Union was able to drag off some of these CSA elements and kind of make that charge a little bit. Uh, I was a little worried about that 6 Texas uh, maneuver, but it actually worked out really well. It worked out brilliantly for them. See what LFL, LFL sort of trying to work their way around the, the back of this big Union force on point, but I don't think they have enough support in front of Union to really... Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got CQB heading back in, but... Second triple. Triple play, 83rd. Second, punt him in the face with the infantry. Punt him, punt him, punt him. Now LFL's going around second. the back. Get him up close and first. It looks I like two, two USC and the 83rd got him in the back here, and that'll push him down to final push. So he only got one minute left. Get the flags, get the flags. And they've now here, here goes a big push. If 5th and CQB work together, but they run into the front of GC's guns. Two point. Hold them back. They've stopped on the fence. Right back, Napoleon. Oh, watch the, watch the friendly fire, everyone! I think that'll be, uh, yeah, I think they stuffed them. To be honest with you, I think they got it. All right, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be confident to call it here. Um, any final thoughts here, Mr. Chair? Uh, I think it's better for just a bit too strong out. And I think they, uh, I mean, admittedly, it's... It's very much the fog of war, so are on the field, but I think there there were opportunities there for them that 
whether you know just through the prior circumstances they missed or they missed them from uh, just being um, just sort of not exploiting them in time, just a bit too slow. I think. I think you're right. Very well played though by the Union. Good tries by the CSA, and uh, that's makes... it for the UEC. Thanks again, Mr. Chair, uh, for uh, co-commenting. Thank you for having me. I, it was enjoyable. I had a lot of fun with it. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Um, I will see you all next time. Here. Sure.